1987, I read uh, Joseph Campbell's Masks of God series. Uh, it was very important to me, and there was one line specific that uh, has profoundly influenced my life. And here's the line. This is Joseph Campbell, Mass of God, Volume 4, Creative Mythology, page 5. For those in whom a local mythology still works, there's an experience both of accord with the social order and of harmony with the universe. For those, however, in whom the authorized signs no longer work, or if working, produce deviant effects, there follows inevitably a sense both of dissociation from the local social nexus and of quest, within and without, for life, which the brain will take to be for meaning. I'll read that again, and I'll stop in the middle. For those in whom a local mythology still works, there is an experience both of accord with the social order and of harmony with the universe. So this means that if the signs and symbols of Catholicism work for you, if the communion and confession and all of the other parts of that religion work for you, you have a path set out for you that gives you an experience both of accord with the social order and of harmony with the universe. That's the purpose. Those are two of the purposes of any religion to give you the experience of accord with the local social order and of harmony with the universe. The same would be true. It doesn't have to be a uh, religious religion. It can be a secular religion. If the American dream works for you, such that you know you want the, the, the picket fence with the 2.2 children, and you go off to work, and then you come home, and if that's working for you, then you will have accord with the social order. It's the same for... If you're a Benedictine monk in the 17th century, if it's the same if you're in the military. It's the same if you're working for... It, it doesn't matter. If the local mythology works for you, you'll have these feelings. For those, however, in whom the authorized signs no longer work, or if working produce deviant effects... So, for those for whom Catholicism no longer works, for those for whom the capitalist you know, American dream no longer works, for those for whom the nuclear family doesn't work, I mean, whatever, whatever mythology you want to set up, um, or if working produced deviant effects, yeah, the American dream works, that makes me mad, you know. There follows inevitably a sense both of dissociation from the local social nexus and of quest, within and without for life, which the brain will take to be for meaning. And this, in Campbell's sense, is what really brings us to what he called the hero quest, where the hero leaves the local community, goes out, slays a dragon, and then comes back and brings a gift to the community. And those are usually solo or you know small person quests uh it never occurred to me until now that han solo is called han solo um and that what that is representative of psychologically and socially is you <laughs> the system isn't working for you. So you go, you leave the system and then you go out, accomplish something. And then you bring that back as a gift to the community. This is the pathway of artists. This is the pathway of a lot of religious mystics. This is the pathway of, and he wrote these back in the forties, fifties and sixties. And Back then, he was writing about how the local mythology was falling apart. And, of course, the local mythology is falling apart even more today. And there's a couple of things that I want to say about this. One of them is that he also said, absolutely indispensable for any such development 
uh, spiritual development is that separation from the demands of the day, which all educators until recently understood to be that first requirement for anything approaching a spiritual life. And, you know, there's, the way I've put this in my books is that, you know, I had to vomit up the effects of my coercive upbringing. And it took my mom, my mom, one of my favorite things she ever said to me was about Crohn's disease, but it applies to society as well, which is it took you a long time to get sick and it'll take you a long time to get better. And this is increasingly difficult in these days of everybody always being glued to computers, to screen time, everybody being so very busy a lot of us don't have the time for those long moments of leisure that allow for rumination that allow you to <clears throat> you can't just see that's part of it this this sense of both dissociation from the local social nexus and of quest within and for, without for life here's the point is that quest can't take a weekend that can't take three days uh, during which you're, you know, mainly worried about how you're going to pay the rent when you go back. These hero and heroine journeys are long. They're, mine took me decades. And I guess th this all developed because somebody sent a note asking, how do we find meaning in in this modern society and for me this is a cliche and religious have been saying it for a long time but for me much meaning comes in service and it comes in uh you know taking care of those we love it comes in taking care of the land it takes it for me meaning comes in relationship relationship with land relationship though with those who are close to me um and you know this makes me think of something else it, and and that's the thing is wherever you find your meaning that's the whole point of this is wherever you find your meaning is what shares your value systems that's why according to the examples i've been using the people would step away from the catholic church because for whatever reason, those signs were no longer working for them. They had to find their own meaning. So there's a sense in which I can't answer the question because that's like saying before they start out on the quest, you know, was St. George supposed to just to slay a dragon? Um, what were Hansel and Gretel supposed to do? What was, you know, it's different for different quests, different and it's different for different people. And that's part of the, the difficulty of the time we're facing, which is so individualistic, is that, again, at one point, there were these sets of meaning that were laid out for everyone. And now people have to go out and find them for themselves. And it's not as easy anymore as simply going to a church. How does one find meaning? Well, I think the way one finds meaning is by going out into the world and finding whatever meaning and finding the meaning that is there. There's one more quote that I want to bring, though, that I think is very important to this, which is um, Albrecht Durer. This is, is I think, our, our, our salvation, uh, which is, Art is implicit in nature, and whoever can extract it has it. And I would add, and this goes against everything in our society, which is one of the reasons that I was spun out and I've done my own work, is that I would say meaning is implicit in nature, and whoever can extract it has it. So the way I find meaning primarily is in service to the land where I live.